All kinematic relations are derived from only two equations, velocity and acceleration. Check the variables given in the problem first. If it includes v, t, and s, then the velocity equation is your starting point. The first possibility of using the velocity equation is when you have v as a function of t. In this case, dt goes to the left side, and we integrate both sides for dt and ds. An example will be v of t is given with t and s as boundary conditions. The other possibility is when you have v as a function of s. In this case, v of s goes below ds, and dt goes to the other side and we integrate both sides for dt and ds. An example will be v of s is given with t and s as boundary conditions. In both cases, the result is s of t, which you can use to find v of t and a of t. But what happens if the variables given in the problem are a, v, and t? You simply go to the acceleration equation and use it the same way we did above. If a is a function of t, integrate it as we usually do with respect to dt and dv. A common example will be a of t given in the question with t and v as boundary conditions. The other possibility is when you have a as a function of v. In this case, a and dt exchange places, and we integrate both sides with respect to dt and dv. For example, a of v equals ln of v, with t and v given as boundary conditions. What is the result of both integrations? v of t, which you can use to find a of t and S of t respectively. In some questions, time is not part of your given information. In this case, we take dt from the velocity equation and substitute it in the acceleration. By doing this, dt is eliminated and the result is ads equals vdv, which is a very helpful relationship that we'll be using a lot. This equation can be used in two different ways. The first and most common way is when we have a as a function of s. In this situation, the equation is integrated as is. A simple example will be a question that has a of s given with s and v as boundary conditions. The other possibility, which is not very common, is when we have a as a function of v. In this case, a goes down to the other side and integration takes place with respect to s and v, similar to what we did above. An example would be a of v given in the question with s and v as boundary conditions.